Hello, in this instructional video, we're going to be taking a look at numbers 61, 62, 63, and 64 in your books. The expectation is that you will be writing in your counts along with me. You'll also be clapping and counting along with me and then performing on your instrument along with me. Um, the understanding is that um, I will be checking your books to see if you've written in those counts the next time you're in school in person for a grade. So here we go. Let's get into number 61, 16th going up. Um, turning to the book, let's start writing in your counts. We've got one and a two and a one and a two and. Now, why did we not go to three? Well, it's because we are in two, four time signature and the highest number we can get to is two. Then we go to one and a two and one and a two and you'd repeat back to the beginning. One and a two and a one and a two and one and a two and... And then second ending, one and a two. Okay. So, a couple of things to watch out for here. We're in... Our only dynamic marking is a mezzo forte. Um, and besides that, just make sure that you take the first and second endings. Let's try clapping and counting this exercise together. One, two, ready, here we go. One and a two, and a one, and a two, and 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 a one, and a two, and one, and a two, and one, and a two, off. Now let's try playing. And one, two, ready, go. <laughs> And that's it. Let's try playing it one more time before we move on. One, two, and ready and go. Let's look at eights falling down. This one uses a different rhythm. Instead of one and a, this exercise uses the rhythm one e and. Notice how the sixteenth notes are now first. The sixteenth notes are now first, and the eighth note is second. We are still in two four time, but your key signature has changed. So take a look at your key signature. Um, for saxophone here, I've got a sharp now, and I didn't have that earlier, so watch out for that key signature always. Let's write in our counts. We've got one E and, two E and, one E and, two and, one E and, two E and, one E and, a two. Repeat, one E and, two E and, one E and, two and, and then go to the second ending. One E and a two and one E and two. All right, let's take a look. See if there's anything else to watch out for. We've got mezzo forte throughout the whole piece and that's about it. Pause this video here if I'm going too fast and need to write in your counts. Okay, but let's clap and count it. It is time. One, two, clap and count and now. One E and two E and one E and two and one E and two E and one E and a two, one E and two E and, one E and two and, one E and a two and, one E and two, off. And that's it, let's play it. And one, two, ready, go. <laughs> That's it. Let's take a look at 63. Almost there. 63, let's do the counts. Notice that this one now combines both of those two rhythms. It combines one E and with one and a. Okay, so let's take a look. We've got one and two and a one and two and a one and two E and one and and one and two and a one and two and a one and two e and one and. This weird rhythm here in the first ending 
This is called syncopation. Syncopation. Okay, and watch out for it. It's where we have um, notes on uh, weak beats. So we've got one and and. Let me clap and count this one for you to make more sense. Here's Big Rock County Mountain, and one, two, here we go. One and two, and a one and two, and a one and two, e and one and and one and two, and a one and two, and a one and two, e and one and. All right. Also, make sure that you're doing your accented notes. A couple of these notes do have accents on them. Let me highlight those. This one has an accent, and this one has an accent. Make sure you emphasize those notes. One, two, ready, here we go. Play that part of the video as much as you need until you get that one correct. All right, and let's take a look at our final song, number 64, A Sailor's Shanty. Let's do our counts before we get started with the actual thing. This is a whole mix of stuff for now. We've got one and a two and a three and four and three and four are back now because we are once again in four four time. Okay. Zoom out here. And then we're at one and a two and a three and four and one and a two and a three and four and one E and two E and three. And then it repeats. Let's clap and count this guy. Ready and clap and count. One and a two and a three and four and one and a two and a three and four and one and a two and a three and four and one e and two e and three repeat one and a two and a three and four and one and a two and a three and four and one and a two and a three and four and one e and two e and three four all right couple of things to take note of. We've got some notes that are accented. In fact, plenty of notes have accented. Let's highlight those. These all have accents on them. Emphasize those notes. Also, we've got some notes with staccatos, which need to be super separated and short. Let's make sure those notes are separated. And then finally, there's also a crescendo at the bottom here. A crescendo, do not forget about him. That means get louder. All right. Let's try playing this one, and then we'll be all finished. And one, two, ready, and go. Good luck and have fun. Ask me if you have any questions and make sure that all of your counts are written in.